year, if you recall, I did a series of videos on food as an environmental justice issue. In one of those videos, I visited the Food Project Farm in Dorchester, where I spoke to staff and workers about their thoughts on bringing healthy food to vulnerable communities. This year, I wanted to focus more time on childhood obesity, which is a very big problem in the United States among children of all races, but most especially children of color. As a matter of fact, half of black youth in Boston are overweight. Last spring, the city of Boston received federal stimulus money to distribute to community organizations to address this health epidemic. The Food Project received money to revamp a vacant greenhouse and to install garden beds for neighborhood residents. I checked in with them recently to see how their projects were going. My name is Kathleen Banfield and I am the Urban Education and Outreach Coordinator. So specifically, I coordinate the Build a Garden, Raise Bed program. Um, and some of the other community programs we have out of Boston. Can you talk a little about the greenhouse? Sure. So we just got this fantastic 10,000 square foot greenhouse, and we will be having kind of a two-part program in here. One is a social enterprise, kind of business-like program where the food project will grow food year-round. Um, and the other piece is a community education piece, so where community people can come and learn about year-round growing and um, get some food from here as well. My name is Myra Class. I'm 16 and I live in West Roxbury. And uh, can you talk a little about the uh, Raise Bed project that's uh, also included in the obesity uh, grant? Okay, so a lot of organizations um, contact us so that they can get raised beds so that the youth and like the community can also go to like the Mattapan Library, which we've built raised beds so like the youth there can like farm there and actually le learn about different vegetables. Um, we also have a new project now, which is like the Yankees um, Boys and Girls Club, which they, we have already built several beds for them, but now we're building two more so that the youth there could learn about the different types of cultures and also the different foods that they could grow from different regions around the world. Another organization that has contacted us is the Up Uphams Health Center. They've also received raised beds, and that is helping the youth that's open the obese youth that go to that health center because they get to eat fresh and local vegetables that they grow by the raised beds that we built. So most of the raised beds that we're building through the program is actually uh, for families and individuals who live in a residential site. However, we do build at a few different organizations, usually they're youth-serving organizations, and we actually use these places as a point of recruitment, so they, the families who go to the Boys and Girls Club or go to the library and use the library can see the beds and then actually realize that they can get one themselves and so they sign up through the centers and they, they refer them back to us.